Hi folks, welcome back here at the Vegas Don channel. We're uh, currently headed west on Stewart Avenue here towards Nellis Boulevard on the east side of town. Up straight ahead, you uh, can see downtown Las Vegas there, the D and the Circa sticking out from the top of the uh, treetops there as we now uh, fall below the tree line here on the east side of town. It's a Sunday afternoon, no chance of rain whatsoever in the forecast. It's pretty warm out, it's about 110 according to the car, 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Not sure what that conversion is over to Celsius. I want to say hello to those of uh, you who are watching from the UK and India and Australia and Canada. We see you and we uh, appreciate you being here. Thanks so much. And thanks to all of you who've liked and subscribed and followed on both YouTube and TikTok. You're the reason we're here. I'm going to be heading over to Maryland Parkway and the Flamingo Road area here in Las Vegas this afternoon, this Sunday afternoon, here in August, late August, 2023. We'll take a look at the elementary school there, Catherine Rundle Elementary School. School's back in for, been back in for a couple of weeks now, so uh, I'm sure the kids are used to their uh, routine looking over here at Christie, the west side of Christie, and right here on the corner. And just a reminder, if you like or see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college. Totally free, you no cost whatsoever, and also on TikTok. Please like and follow us on TikTok as well. We really appreciate all of you being here. That Ford Explorer going the other way was in a hurry. Thankfully, with this being the weekend, there are no school zones. There's probably a million of them between here and our destination, so it's a good thing we're doing this on the weekend. As we approach the light here at Nellis Boulevard, we have plenty of videos all over the place from uh, Nellis showing the junkyards up near uh, Cary Avenue and Nellis. So we look at Chuck E. Cheese's over here and Smith's on the right, Smith's Grocery Store, here at this intersection. In the very rare circumstance, we actually get a green light when we come to Nellis. Usually we have to sit there and wait for a while, just like Janet Jackson. Let's see some of these older neighborhoods here. On either side of Stewart, separated but from the roadway from the, by it looks like a six foot concrete wall. And we're gonna make the left here onto Marion. Show folks that neighborhood here on the east side. This is about the 4600 block of East Stewart Avenue. Stewart runs east and west from uh, all the way from the very edge of Frenchman's Mountain all the way over to um, downtown and it actually terminates there downtown uh, right at I believe it's Main Street right before the railroad tracks right just just to the east of Interstate 15 doesn't actually interchange with Interstate 15 at all but uh, just to the east of there so Stewart will get you from the east side of town straight down into Fremont Street. Fremont Street ends up being two blocks south of Stewart. Down over there. We're not headed that way today, but we do have plenty of videos on our library of uh, having been over there within the, la within the last month or so. Lots of construction going on, of course. As we curve back here and head towards Charleston Boulevard, a safe link not sure what that is vendor there on the corner I don't know what that's for I don't know if that's a cell phone or what exactly they're doing in there it's a shell gas station there on the left and then we've got some shopping over there um, smoke shop Burri area El Zarape now open Maristaff car audio and alarm shopping center over there. And another one of these little quirks here 
in Las Vegas on this side of Charleston, on the North Charleston side of Charleston, this road is known as Marion. However, on the other side of Charleston, this road becomes Arden, A-R-D-E-N. And uh, this happens a few times here throughout uh, Las Vegas. It's just one of those little quirks. In addition to the roads that are disjointed and don't always, and aren't always contiguous throughout the lengths of their namesakes. And again, just a quick reminder, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever, and also on TikTok. Please like and follow us on TikTok. We really appreciate it, and we appreciate all of you that are here and all of you who have already liked and subscribed and followed. Really, really, really thank you for uh, being there for us. You're the reason we're here. As we await the light, the green light here at Charleston, over and now become Arden. You can see there's a VA center there, Veteran Affairs, Northeast Primary Care Clinic. We're heading into the area with the State Streets. We just passed California and Arizona there on the left and there's Colorado there on the right. And uh, actually we're going to head up here to Wyoming and make a right. And then uh, they threw in Imperial Avenue here, which of course is not the name of a state, but uh, there is of course a yard sale over here on the right. And uh, we see a lot of that over here on the east side, especially on the weekends. Looks like uh, there's a couple, or maybe just a couple of umbrellas here for the juice stand on the corner here at Wyoming and Arden. And again, just a quick reminder, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to no cost whatsoever. Just take a look at some of these homes here in Lining, Wyoming. And also on TikTok, please like and follow us on TikTok as well. We really appreciate it. And uh, this road looks like it's undergoing some sort of change. It's got all sorts of metal grates here throughout it. It's great for the suspension on the car. But thankfully it is the weekend, doesn't appear that they're working today, so there's no flag person here to uh, slow us down on a one-lane road. Like that trip that uh, folks take out to uh, Reno, 450 miles north of here, northwest of here actually. So we approach the light here at Lamb Boulevard, 450 miles, and it's uh, most of it is a two-lane road. So when they do construction, they cut it down to one lane and then they alternate north, north and southbound. So it becomes a real hassle when you have to sit there and stop in traffic waiting for the opposite side traffic to be allowed to move through. The eight hour trip becomes a little bit longer than that a lot of times. You can do it in less than eight hours, but um, it would really depend on traffic and the speed limits. They go through a lot of little towns out there off of US Highway 95 on the way up to Reno. And there's a lot of speed traps up that way. The speed limits drop down to 25. I think there's even at 15 at some point. I don't know if it's Beatty or Tonopah, one of them up there that has it drops down to 15 throughout the city. Or the town, I should say. As we continue west on Wyoming here, just past Lamb Boulevard, and this is the overpass up ahead for the aforementioned U.S. Highway 95 slash U.S. Highway 93 slash Interstate 515 here on the east side of Las Vegas. There's a major highway, or as they say out here on this side of the country, freeway. But U.S. 95 and U.S. 93 do both shift back down to a two-lane highway once they get outside the Vegas metro area. As we look over here on the left, we've got some folks selling some merchandise over there. Hopefully it's uh, just theirs and not something that we've seen on ring lately as far as uh, stuff people have been missing. We do see a lot of that. A lot of folks over here that uh, I've seen reports uh, where they leave their car doors unlocked a lot and the uh, they just get cars just get emptied out at night as we look at this mobile home park here on the right side of Sand Hill. 
And again, it's this is not contiguous. It does not meet up with the sand hill that was over on the other side of Charleston Boulevard. And as we come up to the light here at Sahara, you can see it looked like more homeless camps up there on the left side of the road. And we're going to go ahead and make this right and go west on Sahara here for a little bit. A lot of car dealerships up here coming up. It's a zone for a lot of the uh, car dealerships and stuff. As we approach Boulder Highway, Boulder Highway, we're going to, we don't have any videos of Boulder Highway just yet, but it, we know it is a high crime area and we know we're going to be uh, taking a look at it. As we look at, you can actually see out across here, looking at Boulder Highway as it comes in in an angle. And the light is red here. As we take a look at the corner here, see a Dottie's Casino there. They're a chain, gaming chain. Actually have a few windows in their building, so that's good. See outside once you're in there. And uh, a lot of auto, auto uh, dealerships in here, new and used in this area. And Boulder Highway stretches all the way down. It actually is the um, it parallels U.S. Highway 95, the uh, highway or freeway, if you will. Of course, Boulder, Boulder Highway was here first, and it stretches. It actually becomes Fremont Street, Boulder Highway does. As you can see right here, it says Boulder Highway on the south side of Sahara Avenue. And then we look at the north side masthead here, it says Fremont Street. So it becomes Fremont Street as it passes through the intersection here at Sahara Avenue. But Boulder Highway stretches all the way down into Boulder City and then merges back up with uh, US-95 and uh, heads back into Arizona. And again, just a quick reminder, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. We get up to over a thousand subscribers. YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. As we finally get the green light here. Also on TikTok, please like and follow us on TikTok as well. We really appreciate it. Thank you all who have already joined this little Scion next to us takes off. Got a Tesla dealership here on the right. As we pass the light at Mojave, see a Buick, GMC, Fairway, Chevy, Fairway, Chevy there. Another dealership. And then a Nissan dealership over here on the left. past the light here at McLeod Street. McLeod and um, this is actually a formerly a um, Kmart that burned down. Uh, the, the vacant building actually burned down, I think it was last year. It might have been uh, some drug users in there or something at that time. It's the Italian American Supper Club right there. It's a very popular place here. It opens I think at 4 or 5 in the afternoon. We approach the light here at Eastern Avenue, which is a major north-south artery here on the east side of town. Travels all the way from South Henderson, south of Henderson actually, and Anthem. Although I guess Anthem is part of Henderson, but nonetheless, it's all the way down into Henderson as we enter the town of Winchester, it says. And it uh, terminates north of Craig Road here in uh, North Las Vegas. As we approach the light here at Karen, K-A-R-E-N Avenue. See some more apartments over here on the left. Lake Sahara Apartments. Certified crime free. At least that's what the banner says. Car now says it's 113 degrees Fahrenheit. Finally get this green. It's weird. We've went a quarter mile maybe from the turn off of Sahara and then this light turned red. It's par for the course usually. We 
Jeep's light turns red as you come near it. This is a high school over here. I'm not quite sure. Viking Strong. There it is. Valley High School. I thought it was Valley, but I wasn't 100% certain. Valley High School over here. As we approach the light here at Dallas, uh, Vegas Valley Drive, we're going to go down here to Viking. You can see the, some homes up here that line the uh, sides of Eastern Avenue. Capistrano Avenue, that one was. See a lot of solar panels here in town. The uh, energy company, the casinos no longer, for the most part, don't buy their energy from the power company anymore. So what they do is they, um, the power company has to make up that money somehow, and they sure are this year, that's for sure, on all the rest of us who are left without solar panels. So there's a lot of folks out here fed up with that, and they um, bought solar panels. I'm not here to advocate either way for it, but um, I would want to own my own solar panels and not have to spend tens of thousands of dollars for it. Maybe wait for the technology to develop a little bit more here. As we cross the road at Desert Inn, another major east-west here. And now entering the town of Paradise, the little sign there says. And just a real quick reminder, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos if we get up to over a thousand subscribers. YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. And also on TikTok, please like and follow us on TikTok. We really appreciate it. And thank you all for, that have already joined and liked and followed and subscribed. Sunrise Villas 1 over here. It's a gated community right here off the eastern. And when it rains, it then tends to get uh, a lot of water buildup over here on Eastern uh, during the heavier rains. And this being a major artery, that uh, tends to be a little bit of a problem, of course, for all the folks looking to commute. And we approach Viking. We're going to make a right here on the Viking Road. Home of the Mighty Turtles, Helen J. Stewart School. I'm not sure if that's a public school or not, but nevertheless, there it is. Here at Viking. And as you look straight ahead there and see the high roller Ferris wheel, looking due west from our current location. You can see some of the homes here lining Viking. Not a major east-west artery. Mohegan Way. Is that street name there? As we approach Spencer, and there's another fruit juice vendor. Carefully situated underneath the shade there on this 114 degree afternoon, according to my car. And we're going to take a right here on Spencer. And we're going to head up here to Katie, K A T I E. Had some viewers on TikTok, especially, tell me that uh, Sand Hill is not nearly as bad as Katie Avenue. Well, we're going to take a little ride here down Katie and show the folks Katie. As you can see, the sphere up there directly ahead as well, coming into view. It's a big, beautiful park here, it looks like, on the right. Or School Park, O-R-R, or Oscar Romeo Romeo. And that is Or Middle School right there. And again, just a quick reminder, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue making more of these videos. If we get up to over a thousand subscribers, YouTube will monetize the channel. We can use that to send our son to college. Totally free to you, no cost whatsoever. And also on TikTok, please like and follow us on TikTok. We need to get up to 10,000 followers on TikTok. So we're going to resume the video on the other side of Maryland Parkway up here, which is that road. 
We're going to drive up here and pull into this little shopping center right here. And we want to thank you all for joining. And please be sure to check out our other videos from all over Las Vegas, inside and outside the Las Vegas Strip. Talk to you soon, folks.